Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and this is another video in my series on JavaScript and Node.js for beginners. In this video we're going to take a look at the identity test operator. Then in the next video we'll talk a little bit about the, Java, about the history of JavaScript and following that we're going to get into actually using these for some basic nuts and bolts programming. That is using the um, kind of equality test operators that we've been looking at. So, um, as always, I'm going to start with writing use strict, doesn't matter if I use single or double quotes, and that forces me to declare variables. And let's have a variable called days, which I'll set equal to 7, and we'll write console.log and uh, 7 equals equals 7. Let's write days equals equals 7. So, of course, this, this will give us true. Actually, I'm going to use the terminal here that's built into Visual Studio Code because that's probably easier than switching to another external bash terminal all the time. If I go to the view menu here and uh, terminal, I can open a terminal. Okay, so if I write node and the name of my file, uh, this gives me true. Now there's also a um, equals 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 operator. Let's first actually put this in double quotes, just so that I can keep track of what I'm doing here with a sort of a comment. So there's also a version of this operator that has three equal signs and we can we can call that the identity test operator. And in this case it, um, it does the same thing, it gives us true in this particular case. Now the difference is that um, equals equals will do all kinds of type conversions to try to ensure that you get what it thinks you want, whereas equals 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 is a stricter kind of operator. Um, it's, it tests not only equality but also type. You can think of it as an identity test operator. It won't do any conversions. So you see the difference if you put the 7, let's say, in quotes. So if I put a number in quotes, it becomes text. Now equals equals will actually convert this text to um, to the number that it, uh, it seems to represent. It helpfully does this conversion for me and it will give true here. Let's try it. So you can see true. The um, identity test operator with three equal signs gives me false because it doesn't do any conversion. So it says is days, which is a number equal to seven, is that, equal, is that equivalent or identical to the text seven? And the answer is no, because, okay, they might both represent the number seven in one way or another, but the fact is this is text, and this is, a, this is referring to a number, so they're different things. So this is the equality test uh, operator, and this is the identity test operator. And the identity test operator, it will not helpfully convert one thing to another to try to get at your meaning, um, or to put it another way, it will test both uh, whether two two values are equal and also whether they have the same type and if they don't have the same type it's going to tell you false so it's a stricter operator um, there's also a not version of this so if I were to write not here and also so not equal here and here we've got not identical and let's just change these comments here what are these going to give me? Um, what about this one? Uh, will this return true or false? Well, um, is is days, which is the number seven, is it is it not equal to the text seven? That's the question. And um, in this case, I would say, well, that's false. They are equal. Okay, one's text and one's a number, but uh, this single. This single equals version of the equality test we'll, won't worry about that. It will convert them. It will convert one thing to another. So it's as if we're doing seven not equal to seven, and that's that's false because seven is equal to seven. Whereas this will give us true seven not identical to the text seven. That's true. They aren't identical. Let's just prove that that is the case, and I'm not lying to you. So first one is false. Um, 7 is not equal to 
the text seven is false because they are equal and the second one is true so it, of course these these two are just flipping what these two are doing so here we get true and false and here we get false and true all right so if you're happy with that then um, do feel free to move on to the next video if it's puzzling though then please do try this out um, especially if you're a big if you are literally a complete beginner with this try it out for yourself and try to get your head around what's going on here um, it's a really good idea and in the next video I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, some relevant history here which might help explain um, why we have two different operators for testing what seems like equality okay so until next time happy coding